G'day one, Be Agent Dad here. Today I got a bit of surprise in my mail and one of my suppliers, thank you very much, actually sent me one of these new Microsoft Service Pro X for have a look at and a review. Now, I was actually asking about this product for two months ago before I went on holidays, but unfortunately none of them were arrived in Australia, even Microsoft didn't have them. But now I actually have one, it is absolutely fantastic and they also sent me the keyboard cover with the new pen as well to actually have a look at. So that's absolutely great here. Now this, I did unfortunately did open this box because I didn't know what this box was and then I looked at it, whoa, gave me a bit of a surprise but it's absolutely great, it's a good surprise there. So I am going to do the unboxing of this computer here and also I will do, it's also a first impression as well, I will create a second follow-up video with a more in-depth review of this computer here. So let's get on with the unboxing. Well, let's look what's inside the box here. So let's just open it up and pretty much we've got a nice little advertisement over here. I'll just move it along and then we have the surface itself and that's in this nice little static sort of bag. So I'll just open that up. I'm taking this, I'm just gonna nicely flip this around. It's got a very nice feel to it, so I'm going to just move it across the side. I know there's a kickstand here, so I'm just going to move it across down here. And let's, let's see what else is in the box. Okay, so here we have, is more than likely the power cable. Let's see, around here. Yep, it's the power cable there. It'll be a typical sort of surface sort of thing. And pretty much, and it's got a nice good old USB as they always have for the power cables there, which is really nice. So you can actually charge your phone off your power cable for your service. And it does run your good old Surface Connect um, port here as well too, that's great. And right here over here, what we have here is just the documentation. Now don't throw it away because usually hidden at the back of it is a SIM tool. Now I'll show you later part of the video what the SIM tool does. The Microsoft Service Pro X is an exciting product to the market. I was super keen to get my hands on one of these products here because it's got houses a very interesting component and that component is its processor. It doesn't house a normal traditional laptop or desktop processor. What Microsoft have done is partner with Qualcomm and put one of these processors that you see in your mobile phone into this computer here. Now that is something different. That's starting to innovate, which is good. And I, when I saw the launch of this computer here, it did say that it was going to house a special type of Windows here. And that's what I was very keen to see its limitation on this special Windows 10 that for these ARM processor there. So I will slowly get through that and definitely in my in-depth review, we'll have a look at the definitely what software we can put in, what we can't. So I'll slowly get through that and what my grievances are or what's really good about it there. So I'm very excited to see this graphical power. Now the processor is called SQ1. Now it is an eight core processor and it goes around about three gigahertz. So that's pretty quick for a processor there. So I'd definitely love to see what's computing power of that. Now as for the configuring of the RAM, it goes anywhere between eight and 16 gigs of RAM for this computer here. Now as for hard drive wise, you can get 128 all the way up to 512 SSD hard drive in there. And that's pretty much all you can really configure for these for this Surface Pro X. Um, anything else is pretty much getting the keyboard and the pen, which you probably have to do in a way. So let's have a look at the ports on the Surface X. So I'll start on the bottom right hand side here. We have the Surface Connect port here and we've got a power button here. Let's have a look on the top here. It's pretty much got nothing all the way through. That's clean. That's unlike the Surface 7 or 6 or 5 previously. And on the left hand side here, we have the volume key up and down. And then you've got two Thunderbolt ports. And that's pretty much all there is. And that's just the kickstand there. And on the bottom here is your new Surface Keyboard Connect ports here. And that's pretty much it, about it. This actually has a nice 13 inch display. So they call it the edge edge. I do see it gets close to the edge itself and it's definitely one beautiful display compared to the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 or 6 in a way. So I definitely like the new screen on this and the just bigger real estate of the screen is definitely, we can't say no to that. That's definitely great there. Now it does house also a webcam on the top and it is great for using for 
Windows Hello and it was actually quite easy to get in with Windows Hello. So that's a nice addition there. Now it also has a world facing camera as well, which is great so you can do some snaps on there. So that's the tablet mode of it there. The Microsoft Surface Pro X has a very special trick and Microsoft has to redesign the actual keyboard cover. Now what they've done is if you just give the keyboard cover a nice little tug, look at that. Right underneath the hinge is hidden away is the pen. Wow, great is that. You can just go and take the pen out, draw what you want to do, and then pop it back in. And not only does it when you pop it back in, it charges that pen wirelessly. How good is that? And then you give it a nice good click, and it's hidden away, and you haven't lost it. How good is that? That is so much better than having the magnetic pen. Oh, I love the magnetic pen, but that is so much better. That is what I call innovation, definitely. Good on you, Microsoft. It's good to see that it is a company that's still looking forward to the future and thinking of different new ideas. That is a great design. Love it. Now, as for the keyboard, it's got a quite nice feel to it. You've got a bit of a tactile feel to it, plus it's got a nice bit of travel in the keys as well too. And it's very, very nice, individually shaped, very professional. I like the finish of it. And as for the trackpad as well, it's got a nice feel to it and it's got a bit of a glass feel to it as well, just like the previous one. And it works fantastic. And it's got a bit of push as well too. So I kind of like it there. Definitely one big thing I can definitely feel difference of this computer is the actual build quality of this. It's got very nice sort of rounded feel to the sides here. Definitely much nicer feel holding it compared to the Surface Pro seven or six or five range is definitely got a very nice feel to it as well too and i definitely love the feel of this and it's got that nice metallic feel to it and it's actually gone a lot thinner as well too probably i feel it's about half the thinness of what the surface pro 7 is now i'm not measuring but that's what i feel of it and it's got really nice feel to it especially the curvedness of it as well too so it's no longer got that jaggy edge there so definitely great there and as for the kickstand here they have said they have improved on having a much even lower angle to it so you can actually better for drawing as well so definitely that is a good improvement to there i can't stop saying how nice these physical features are now as for sound wise there are actually two speakers on the side here and surprisingly they do very well i was surprised by the quality of the sound it wasn't too crazy tweety that i thought and it didn't distort like crazy especially on the higher end there so i found they have a bit of a nice surround feel to it definitely they've up boosted up the speakers on this compared to the surface pro 7 or 6s um, definitely the speakers are amazing i must admit quite good especially from the tablet there quite loud as well i'll actually measure it in my in-depth review so we'll measure how loud those speakers can get now having a chat with microsoft i do know that the thunderbolt ports can charge the surface pro x but it won't do quick charge now for quick charge you do need to use go back to the surface provided power or just using the surface dock and that will actually quick charge the surface pro x now one of the nice features i love about the arm processor is it's nearly instant on so i'm just going to turn the computer to sleep or off at the moment and give it a few seconds to just to know if it's actually off so it's nicely holding in hibernation there i'm just going to turn it back on now and you'll see it's pretty much ready to go it's nearly instant on I love that. That is really good. I'm actually going to just do that, like close it off again. So that's gone to sleep now. I'm just going to open back up and voila, it's back on. It's literally like an iPad. I love it. It's great. Absolutely great. I love that. So Microsoft have nicely given you a SIM tool here and pretty much on the back end of the computer, if you lift up the kickstand, on the bottom hand corner you'll see an access panel here and pretty much there's a nice little hole down here which you actually pop your pin sim tool here and it pretty much pops open the panel and pretty much you can lift the panel and what you'll see is on the bottom right hand is where you actually put in a sim card so that's for the lte and you will surprisingly you will see the ssd hard drive as well which is an m.2 it's just made of holding by one screw there now this m.2 is in a really interesting format um, just a nice small size probably later on in the future you'll see on the market maybe some sizes where you can actually do self upgrade but at the moment you probably have to do it, go through microsoft to get that 
um, upgrade of the SSD, but at least it's easy to access. So that's definitely a winner for serviceability on this computer here. The new Surface Pen is more flat, of course, to have a nice footprint for the holding area. And it is more like a style of a carpenter pencil if you ever played with it. And you pretty much have one button on the side here. And then you have also another button on the top here, which you can then customize. Only some basic customization. I'll go through that in the in-depth video there. It's still very nice to hold to it. The actual feel of it, it's not rubbery. It's more like a plastic feel to it, but still feels very well built there. So the jitter test on this computer, the all the line tests. I'm just going to do some horizontal lines now first. That is really good. That is pretty amazingly well. I do have my palm on the screen here, doing some horizontal line now. That's really good. I'm going to do one with ruler. See how this performs with ruler. And I do have my palm on the things, but you'll see now we get a little bit of issues here. Sorry, I've got some magnetic. I should have not use a metal ruler, but we've got a metal ruler going on. That's just to really give it some quirks. Uh, now that's with my palm on. And I'll take my palm off. It has improved a little bit with, without the palm on there. But that's pretty good, I think. And let's try some horizontal lines. That's without the palm on, and I'll put my palm on. That's not too bad. It's all right. Sorry, my ruler, the metal ruler is sticking to some of the magnetic part of it, of the screen itself. But that's pretty good. I'll just do some circles as well. That's pretty good. And I'll just do one more here. Another spiral. And it is pressure sensitive as well too, so... Now I started to load some software in the Surface Pro X and I'm starting to feel a bit of the pain of the limitation of this ARM processor for Windows 10. And what you need to find, it is really is a gamble, is you've got to find the ARM version of the software which is pretty much working off the Microsoft Windows Store or, and again, it's another gamble, is Windows 10 32-bit versions of the software and that's on and off. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't and it's really random there. So I can't really say. So it really it's a matter of just trying to see if it loads or not. So you just download or not. So I actually have tried to put a few benchmarking software there and even then, some most of them don't even work for this computer here so i don't know how i'm going to go benchmark it but i think i'll manage to get pass marking working through this computer here but as for 3d mark it kind of half works and then it just crashes out it just freezes doesn't really go anywhere after that pc 10 it doesn't even work for arm at all if they actually stop you need the arm version maybe they will one day make an arm version but at the moment it's not working there now i've got this service pro x for a week and um, if you've got a software you'd like to me to actually try out to see if it will install or run, put a comment below and I will try and do my best to actually try to install it on this Service Pro X. And I will give you a better list as I will find out in my in-depth review on what I was able to load and what I wasn't able to load there. Now, from my first impression of this, hardware-wise, this is gorgeous. It feels so nice very nice build quality and you can definitely feel that Microsoft have put a lot of effort and time to actually make this product here. It just feels very premium. I love the build quality of this. Now as for software wise that's where it's lacking a little bit and so far what I can say is it's great to do your basic work like web browsing, um, watching a few YouTube videos and stuff like that. I'm sure you can load up Netflix and stuff like that. And if you limit yourself to the Windows Store applications, then that'll be fine. But so far, I have been pretty much hitting a brick wall on a lot of my major softwares there. So at the moment, for software wise, that's where it's lacking. Now, as for hardware, this is gorgeous. I must say, I really do like this hardware wise. If you enjoyed this first impression of this computer here, give it a like, and if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button on the bottom right of the screen. I do try to upload a new video every Tuesday. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.